Alright, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So I can switch the places of n and m. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, and I'm going to switch the places of 3 and x. So I get 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now, I'm going to let the variable u equal 2 to the power of x. So now if I substitute in u for 2 to the power of x, I get u to the power of 3 plus u is equal to 30. And now I can subtract 30 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get u to the power of 3 plus u minus 30 is equal to 0. Now we have an equation here, and we need to find what value of u makes this equation equal to 0. So what I'm going to do to start is rewrite 30 as 27, negative 27 minus 3. And the reason I did this is because 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. Notice how we use something in the form u to the power of 3 plus u. We could think of u as 3 in this case. So 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. And we have this minus 3. Now I'm going to put this in the form u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 plus u minus 3 is equal to 0. So now, if I put this in parentheses real quick, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this turns into u minus 3 times u squared plus 3u plus 9 plus u minus 3, which is equal to 0. And now, because both of these terms have a common factor of u minus 3, if I factor out u minus 3, I get u minus 3 times u squared plus 3u plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0. And now from here, 9 plus 1 is 10, so I get u minus 3 times u squared plus 3u plus 10 is equal to 0. Now this gives me two equations. I get u minus 3 is equal to 0, and I get u squared plus 3u plus 10 is equal to 0. So u minus 3 equals 0. That's pretty easy to solve. All I have to do is add 3 on both sides and I get u is equal to 3. Now remember how we let u equal to 2 to the power of x, meaning 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. And now to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 3. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 2 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 2 is equal to log 3. And now if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 3 over log 2. Now, log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771, and log 2 is equal to 0 0.301, meaning this is equal to 1.539. Now, going back over here, 
we have u squared plus 3u plus 10 equals 0. And let's use the quadratic formula to solve this. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get u is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this gets me negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times 1 times 10, which is 40, all over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. Now, the square root of negative 31, that's a negative number, so that doesn't work, meaning my only solution is 1.539. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2x squared. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the ln on both sides. And if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, this is equal to b times ln a. So this turns into x times ln x is equal to 2x squared times ln x. Now, I'm going to subtract 2x squared times ln x on both sides. So I get x times ln x minus 2x squared times ln x is equal to 0. And now if I factor out ln x, I get ln x times x minus 2x squared is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I have ln x equals 0 and x minus 2x squared equals 0. For ln x equals 0, I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. For x minus 2x squared equals 0, I'm going to factor out x. So I get x times 1 minus 2x is equal to 0. So this means that x equals 0 and 1 minus 2x equals 0, meaning 1 is equal to 2x and x is equal to 1 half. So these are my three solutions to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and also check out more videos on my channel. I have several challenging videos with lots of equations that you guys can try to solve, so make sure to check those out, and also share this, see if your friends can solve this. Thank you, bye.